Hello everybody, my name is Mike Kelly and this is AnimatorsForum.com and I'm making this tutorial on behalf of the request of one of our members, Weena. So Weena, this one's for you. She asked if uh, I could show you how I do my expressions. And while I don't think my expressions are done uh, very well or, or remarkably, I mean, they're, they're nothing, I think I do them okay, but they're not anything special. Uh, I uh, hope that maybe by showing you my workflow or what, how I do them, that uh, it'll give you at least some ideas about what you can do and what you can do certainly a lot better. So here it is. Um, and basically, uh, this is a character, this is a work in progress. This, uh, this character is uh, Oliver Hardy, based on, um, on the famous Oliver Hardy. Uh, but his body isn't finished yet, but at least his head is finished. So that's enough for the purposes of this demonstration. So I want to show you very quickly about uh, how we do expressions. And, uh, you know, in 3D, uh, the facial expressions uh, boil down to about 27 different points, I, I believe I remember, in muscles. You have a lot more muscles in your face than that. Your face is very heavily uh, muscled, but tw there's about 27 different places that your face produces expressions. Um, but in, in 2D... Uh, we really don't usually use that. Even very sophisticated 2D animation normally boils down to three places, and that's the mouth and the eyes and the eyebrows. And that's what I do, specifically. And I even do a very limited subset of those. So that's what I'm going to show you. So right now, uh, we'll, we'll look at the mouth first. And notice we have the mouth here. This is the, the normal, what I call rest-neutral mouth. I have three different mouths. That's really all I have. I have the happy mouth. And I have the sad mouth, and I have the rest neutral mouth. And I have other mouth uh, expressions, or phonemes, but they're, they are phonemes, because uh, my mouths are always talking. Uh, usually when my characters are not talking, then their face is at rest in one of these three positions, either like this, or like, the, uh, like this, or like this. Uh, but I do have some other phonemes that I've taken out and I've renamed. So for example, I have smile. Smile, I think, turns out to be the etc. phonem, but it's the etc. smiley phonem. And then I have uh, snarl, which I think is the uh, etc. frowny phonem. So those are just the two phonemes that are already existing in there. And so I can use them if I want my character, if he's not talking, to be doing that. But in actual practice, I very seldom have my characters do anything other than talk because my show is dialogue driven and I like to talk and they like to talk and so we all talk. So. Uh, that's that's the expressions I have with the mouth. But you can notice that even just putting the, the mouth expression, that's all I'm doing here. The eyes are staying exactly the same, and yet he looks very happy. And he looks he looks sad or starting to get angry, and then he looks sort of, sort of neutral there. So that adds a lot right there. The next expression we have are the eyelids and the, uh, the eyes themselves, and they're combined with two different expressions, of the eyelids and the pupils themselves. So if I do the eyelids, for example, and I've got them triggered and rigged so that I can just drag the mouse, and you can notice I can, as I drag the mouse, it's changing the, the eyelid expressions up here so I can see what I'm doing. And then if I hold the hot deck key down, I'm, I'm getting the, the double eyelid positionings. And then if I hold the bottom hot key down, I just get the, the bottom eyelids. And all the while I'm doing this, it's changing to the 10 or so eyelid positions that I have. That's all I have are those 10 positions. So you can see that, that while I do that, changing nothing else, not changing the mouth or, or the eyebrows, uh, that I'm getting a wide variety of expressions just based on those 10 lids. So you, there, there's a lot of things you can do with just, with just eyelids. And then if you combine them with you know, the mouth, uh, and, and then you start getting a lot of, a lot of interesting positions. So uh, the other por portion of the eyes is the pupils and if I switch to the pupils look at how expressive they go now my our show is based around Family Guy and American Dad and if you ever tune in either one of those shows you'll see how much they do with just the pupils you know you can tell a, a lot about what a character is thinking or, or feeling by just the way their pupils dart around and so by changing nothing else I'm doing pupil positioning and yet getting a lot of a lot of uh, variety of animation and if I add that in to, you know, if, uh, to the um, eyelids expression, then I'm getting some very interesting looks about how they might be, be working. And um, 
by the way, one of the things that's interesting, I don't know, just interesting to me because I'm a trivial mind, is that people can't move the bottom eyelids uh, by themselves. You've never seen this position in real life. Nobody can raise the top of their eyelid and, 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 and then they have the bottom lids come up. <laughs> that, would, that would be impossible. But, and yet we accept that as a, as a convention that that happens. So, uh, so anyway, so there's the combination of, of eyelids and lids, making some expressions. And then the last portion we have are the eyebrows. So I switch here, and, and I've, again, I have a limited set of eyebrows. I have just, uh, I think there's a 15 or so, and even out of this 15, I, I very rarely use five or six of these. Uh, so if I want to go mad, you can see how, how they look mad there. And uh, angry is a different kind of mad. It's uh, more of a fiendish mad, scared. Uh, these, these are very subtle uh, eyebrow positions for the most part. You can see that there's very little difference in some of these positions. And yet, it, like if you look at embarrassed example versus confused, so it's just a very minor shift of the position of that lid. Uh, and yet, that's, it's convincing. You know, we, can, we can see that there's, uh, there's a difference in, in expression there. And so, you know, if we if we combine these, we now make them sad. And I haven't even changed the mouth now. I come down here and I change the mouth to sad. And, and you know, he, he's looking very sad indeed. Um, and uh, and so the, the mouth combined, if I come up here and, and for example, make it mad. And now he's, now he's definitely mad. But if I change the mouth to happy... Now he looks kind of fiendish, you know. <laughs> so it's a, there's a there's a fiendish sort of look, and and then you combine the eyes, you know, like that, you know. There's, you know, he he may be he may be really getting into into some mischief here, you know. Kind of there you go. See, so so just combining that that sort of set of those three things, you can re, uh, achieve a wide variety of conditions. Uh, and a wide, a wide variety of emotions. And I, I don't want to leave out the fact that this is just facial expressions. That's all I've really shown you. Um, as you'll read it, like in the best animation books, they'll always talk about the fact that body position has a tremendous amount to do with how a character's feeling emotion. You know, you watch some of the Disney uh, animations and you'll see, you can tell Mickey's feeling depressed because his whole body collapses. And so it's important uh, to, to uh, account for that. And if I... Uh, so I want to show you just, I won't go into a lot of it because this body's not rigged properly, but if I, if I make him sad, uh, that's, that's sad. But then to add the finishing touch, if I just kind of tilt his head down, oh, you can see he is very sad indeed. Oh, you can, you can almost start to cry now. And so uh, that's just a tilt of the head. So very important. So the, so the two things are facial expressions broken into three different components, the, the mouth and the eyes and the eyebrows. And then the body position. And the last thing I would add, too, is that all of this is uh, really contingent upon your voice acting, too. I mean, obviously, you can do a lot of animation uh, silent and, and achieve emotions. But if your voice actors are very good and they sell what, what the emotions are they're feeling, then you're going to also have a lot easier time uh, animating it. So that's my, uh, that's my easy stuff. That's all there is to it. That's all I do. And if you have any questions or you have anything in specific you'd like me to do or talk about, I'll be glad to try to get to it on the forum. But um, other than that, uh, hopefully this answers everything you wanted to know, Weena. And we'll see you around on the forum.